Valerie and Alf obviously have a local authority perspective. And it's not surprising to hear that in the current project of theirs is a civic building in Coventry. And I understand Alf may not be in a position to visit here again, but I know you'll be watching this ceremony and I speak on behalf of the people of Marlborough when I say we're forever in your debt. You person personify ethics and values that I deeply admire and respect. Someone far wiser than me once said, the true meaning of life is to plant trees under whose, tray, who, under whose shade you do not expect to sit. And doesn't that perfectly epitomise the Yule's attitude? I'm sure the way you, Alf and Valerie, have chosen to use your resources will bring you much satisfaction and peace. You have had a big part in shaping this town. Philanthropy, I hope, will never go out of fashion. It can achieve so much so quickly in a way that red tape bound bureaucracy cannot. I do understand that not everyone is in the position to be so fiscally generous. But I hope the Yule spirit of generosity and open handedness is recognised and replicated within our community. There are so many ways to give back to the place in which, which you live. Again, Alf and Valerie, I thank you very much for your generosity. I also want to thank the Blenheim Trust for all the work that they have done and Joe, all the people that you mentioned, contractors onwards, have been involved in the establishment of such a wonderful facility. Thank you. Thank you, Alistair. We sent, uh, at one stage, um, a very wide-angled photograph of the, the view uh, through to Alf and Val, along with some photos of the building as it was getting close to completion. Alf sent an email back to say, you have changed forever uh, the Blenheim skyline. Others say we've actually made it quite a lot more colourful. <coughs> there has been some comments on the colour, as you may have uh, gathered, and I have to put my hand up and say that um, I went along with um, the architect's recommendation as to colour. I was one of the people who approved a small square about that size, <laughs> <laughs> which looked great, really. <laughs> um, everybody knows this building is here, uh, and it is very colourful, of course. But as I said, you don't get the best view from the car park, you get a lovely view from across the other side. The project is pretty well finished. We've got a few finishing touches, uh, just really to go in, signage to go in the foyer, and um, liaise with council as to wording to go on an opening uh, plaque as well that we will be put in the foyer. And then we're uh, pretty well there. <laughs> um, again, to Alf and Val, um, our gratitude to you is immeasurable. You've given hundreds of thousands of dollars over the years, not just through Blenheim Trust, but as you hear from personal funds as well. So much of you given, in fact, that we haven't even been able to trace it all. But in addition to the funding, um, I think you've achieved something really very remarkable. You've shown us all how to have regard for other people's needs and not let wealth contaminate sincerity, caring, integrity and a genuine desire to assist the needy. Some of you may know that Alf and Val have strong Christian beliefs. And as Alf moves into the latter part of his 90s, I'm reminded of a saying from the Bible which goes something like, it would be easier for a rich man to pass through the eye of a needle than enter the gates of heaven. Well, Alf, if you'll excuse the Kiwi slang, we think you've got them stuffed, mate. <laughs> May your God be with you 
Alf and Val for the remainder of your journey. Uh, thanks to each of you for making the time uh, to be here. We appreciate your presence and we look forward to further dealings with you in the charitable communities that we work in. All right, everybody. It's Mayor of Marlborough. It gives me great pleasure to declare your house officially open. of the trust and it's been an outstanding day. Hi Val, hello Alf. Uh, it's a marvellous day here. The people that have attended can't say enough about the building. It's wonderful and so are you too. God bless you. Alf and Val, it's just so wonderful to be here today to see what has transpired with this property and to say to you both we love you we're just delighted to be part of this and to be here today and we wish you could be with us but we look back so fondly to the times that we've had together founding in this trust and seeing you in England and receiving your generosity and hospitality we love you and uh, we look forward to seeing you hopefully again in England. Hi Val and Alf, it's lovely to be here today. Just um, so exciting to see what's happened here. And um, like Michael, I'm just so proud to know you and thank you for all your love and your generous heart. And um, we bless you and say we would like to come again, but he's hoping. <laughs> 